Okay, hi guys. My name is Mike Beister, and according to psychologists that study my mind when I was in college, I have one of the fastest mathematical minds in the world. And I was not born with any special ability. I trained my brain at a young, and cool, uh, young age to do really sort of fun and cool things. And several years ago, 2020, did a story about me because they saw videos online of kids I worked with and what they could do with their brain. And they challenged me to take a group of kids and turn them into geniuses. And they picked a school in New Jersey, a sixth grade class. I worked with them for a while. They checked them out. They ran the story and received more email than any story they've ever run in the history of the show. So it's not just me. I teach people how to be smart, but I teach them in a fun and cool way. I teach them how to focus, how to concentrate, how to memorize anything, how to think outside the box, how to problem solve. And once you learn these skills and master these skills, you're basically a genius. The problem is most people are born with one or two of the skills, or two or three of the skills, and the other skills are teachable. And so the reason I'm able to take kids to these levels is everything I'll ever teach someone is sort of fun and cool. Now, to get credibility before I teach you some fun and cool things, we have a board with some problems. Some of the audience members set up problems. I have not seen these problems. We kept the board away from me. Julie, I'm not supposed to turn around. Julie, are you there? I am. OK, so you can turn around the board. I guess I always, when I do shows, there you, I, Usually when I do a show, it's, uh, when I speak to kids, every day I speak to uh, a different group, and when I speak to kids, it's an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, teachers, it's two hours, and corporations, it's about, about an hour. I'm asked to fill in everything for 15 minutes, so we're gonna go really super fast. Okay, so for first we set up, uh, I guess, three problems. I guess we have a three-digit number divided by a two-digit number. Julie, go ahead. Okay, we have um, 957 divided by 13. Uh, see the board, 73.6153846161 or 62, depending on how we rounded it off. We good? Yep. Okay, I, I, don't know if, I don't know what you can see. Okay, next we, uh, we have a four digit number squared. And the reason why I did this particular problem, anything, I try to teach kids that you could do things a multitude of different ways. If something's hard one way, just don't give up and say you can't do it. Look and see if you can find an easier way. And I found when I do problems that are answered over a million, I could do them faster if I do them backwards. So most of the problems I'll do left to right, but problems over a million, I'll do from right to left. So anyone that reads Hebrew, Chinese, or dyslexic, no problem. Everyone else, try to read the other way. OK, uh, Julie, four digit number squared. OK, it's 4,096. OK, backwards. Six, one, two, seven, 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 six, one. We good? Okay. <laughs> okay, next one's sort of a tricky one. We have a bunch of two-digit numbers. We added them up. We got a total. We took the total and took the average. And we had 13 numbers, so we took, uh, we divided by 13. Now, before, uh, is the person who set up this problem in the audience? No, I guess they went home. <laughs> Went to the cup parade. Uh, OK, can someone give me a number between 1 and 13? 12. 12. Julie, can you circle the 12th of the 13 to your numbers, the second one from the end? Yes. OK, everyone see the number Julie circling? OK, this time, Julie's going to read this list as fast as she could say these numbers. She doesn't have to say plus in the middle, but she does have to read numbers loud and clear, so I hear each and every number. Uh, Julie gets the end. I want her to pause a second. Do not tell me the number you circled, I mean, do not tell me the number that was circled, but start reading me the average of all the numbers. After the first or second number, pass the decimal. I'll stop Julie. I'll finish the rest of the decimal and tell the number that Julie left off the list. Does everyone kind of sort of understand? Good. You're a smart group. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even know what I said. Okay, uh, Julie. Yes. Uh, I squat for this one. It requires more concentration. Long story. Uh, Julie, as fast as you want to go, skip the 12th number. Do not read me that number. First 11 numbers, 13th number. Then pause a couple seconds so I know you're pausing. Then slowly read me the average of the numbers. Okay. You got it. 83, 92, 77, 23, 82, 69, 32, 19, 61, 52, 59, 42. Uh, okay, go ahead. Five, What's the average of numbers? Oh, 
five. Yeah, one more. Five. One more. Point. Point five. Okay, we're good. The number Julie left off the list, 41? No. Oops. <laughs> now you know this is real, guys. Okay, Julie. <laughs> this is the very, wait, can we cut the camera? Okay, Julie. <laughs> okay, we're going to go one more time with that, Julie. First 11 numbers, then the 13th number. Go ahead, as fast you want to go. Okay. Um, you want me to read the whole thing again? Right? The whole thing again. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. 83, 92, 77, 23, 82, 69. 69? 69. 69. Yeah. Okay, that's where, okay, go ahead. Okay, 32, 19, 61, 52, 59, 42. 52. The number we left off was 31? Yeah. 55.538461533 or 4. That's okay. Wow. <laughs> Hey. Now, uh, so when I, do, when I do a show, it's basically, I tr when I have an hour and 15 minutes, I'll teach kids a little bit of everything. I'll teach them how to focus, I'll teach them how to concentrate, I'll teach them how to memorize, I'll teach them how to think outside the box. I only have 15 minutes with you guys, and one of the biggest things is math anxiety. And people, when I was on 2020, they received more email than any story they've ever run. A ton of it were from adults that had math anxiety and kids that have math anxiety. So, since I could only do one thing with you guys because I'm so short of time, I'm just going to have fun with you. So I can teach you some fun and cool things. Go to the bars and um, win as many drinks as you want and amaze people. Uh, <laughs> I guess I, okay, I'm, I'm still in Wrigley Field euphoria, I'm sorry. Julie, can we, okay, now, you have a sheet. You have something amazing, okay? Yeah, everyone have that sheet? Okay, there's a bunch of uh, four digit numbers on it. Can I use the board here? Okay. Uh, do you have a tr Okay. I'll I'm turn. No, it's good. Okay. Uh, you're going to go home or go to a bar, hand the sheet to someone you want to freak out, say, Mom, Dad, honey, whatever. Give me a four digit number from each column, A, B, C, D, and E. Read them to me. Add them up with a calculator, and I'm going to add these numbers up in my head. You are going to add up five four-digit numbers and absolutely amaze whoever you do this to. Uh, so just to, uh, if you have a calculator, since we did not set this up ahead of time like the ones that Julie did, if you have a calculator handy on your cell phone and do not mind pulling it out, I would absolutely greatly appreciate it. Okay, just to add up these numbers. Someone call out a four-digit number from column A. What? 1,432. Please add up these numbers, guys. Four digit number from column B. 1444. Four. How about a four digit number from column C? One, five, what a great number. 1565. Five. Okay, you guys, a number from column D. 1784. 1784. 1,784. How about a number from column E? 2092. 2092, thank you. Okay. Did you add these numbers up with the calculator one? Is the answer 8,317? Now you may say, that's no big deal. That guy did all that hard math at the beginning of the show. Just being able to add up these numbers doesn't mean he could teach me to do it. This is a magic trick. These are special numbers. I, I have a bunch of these sheets, but I teach this to people that are scared of working with numbers who've never had success. I try to teach them something that can amaze people and give them confidence without the math being hard. I'm not even listening to what you guys are saying. I'm thinking, where the heck am I going to eat after the show as you're reading me these numbers? The only thing I'm listening to is the ones digits, and I'm adding up the ones digits. Everyone, help me out. Add up the ones digits. Two plus four is? Plus five. Plus four, plus two, you guys rock, 17. Whatever the one digits add up to will always equal the final two digits of the final answer. Now to get the first two digits of the final answer, you say to yourself, how far are the last two digits of the final answer? Or in this case, how far is 17 away from 100? How far is 17 away from 100? You guys rock. Kinda cool, huh? <laughs> So just add up the one. So for example, if someone gave you a four-digit number from each column, A, B, C, D, and E, and you add up the one digits, and the one digits added up to 34, 
34 becomes the final two digits of the answer. First two digits of the answer, 66. Everyone got that? Now comes quiz time. <laughs> I know, I can't believe no one gave you quizzes. Okay, I can give you four digit number from each column. A, B, C, D, and E. You can write it down if you want. You do not have to if you don't want. When you know the entire answer, not the first two digits, not the last two digits, the entire answer, raise your hand. I know it's so fun to call it out while you, before everyone else does it, but please just raise your hand, no one calls it out. Okay, the number from column A, 1,531. The number from column B, 1,147. Number from column C, 1,000. 268. Number from column D, 1,685. Number from column E, 2,191. When you have the entire answer, come on, I want hand, I want hand, I want hand, I want hand. Oh my gosh, we have so many smart people in the seventh grade. I love this. Oh gosh, this is so great. Okay, I know when I look at people, the hands go down. No, keep them up. Don't put them up unless you really want to be called on. Okay, what do you got? How many have 7,822? You guys are awesome. Okay, you have to believe in what your brain can do. Now, because I speak to schools every day for free, I speak to teachers groups every day for free. I want to put it out to you guys. If you have a kid in school, you want me to come speak? There's nothing, I just try to teach kids in a really fun and cool way how to improve their mind and teachers how to teach kids. My email's on the sheet. Or you could, my, my company's called Brainetics. B-R-A-I-N-E-T-I-C-S. That is on the sheet too. Or Julie, who is my right hand, who will definitely make sure her email's on the sheet too. So I just wanted, to, if I could help you guys in any way, I just really like helping people I meet, so just drop me an email, we'll get you in. Uh, we had like 11,000 schools right in after 2020, but I'll make sure that you guys will get in top priority. Just mention your, you know, and the school has to want. I don't force myself into any school. Uh, okay, now, to keep my brain sharp besides math, I do a lot of memory stuff too. Uh, take out the other, turn on the other side, uh, pick a number. Can you raise it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. On this column, you have five columns, A, B, C, D, and E. You have numbers from 1 to 31. Everyone, think of a number between 1 and 31. Now check each and every column. Check and see, is my number in column A? Is it in B? Is it in C? Is it in D? Is it in E? Your number may be in one column, it may be in two columns, it may be in three columns, it may be in every column. When you know the columns your number of pairs and they made me stay on the stage, I usually like going through the audience, raise your hand, tell me the columns, and I will tell you what your number is. Yes? 17? Fun. Yes, anyone else? Yes? ACD? 29. Oh, ACD, 13. Good. Uh, anyone else? Anyone? Yeah. 26. Yes. C and D? 12? Fun! Yay! Okay, now you might say, big deal, the guy memorized the whole sheet. No, the guy didn't memorize the whole sheet. What the guy did, though, was memorize the top number of each column. Top number in column A is 1, B is 2, C is 4, D is 8, and E is 16. So if you said your number was in columns B and E, I knew the top number in column B is 2. E is 16. 2 plus 16 is 18. That would be your number. Okay, everyone kind of sort of get it. But guess what? This is a memory trick. Whoever you do this to is holding the sheet. You don't get to see this. So I'll give you 10 seconds really quickly to memorize. A is 1, B is 2, C is 4, D is 8, E is 16. Look on the board, look on your sheet, but you have five seconds. You have four. You have three, you have two, you have one, sheets face down. Okay, before we have a quiz, we have a quick practice round. Everyone, what's A? One. B, Two. C, Four. D, Three. E. You guys rap, what if I went out of order, what's C? <laughs> it's not as easy as it goes out of order, huh? What's B? What's E? What's A? What's D? Okay, a little shaky here, guys. Okay, I know it's been a long day. Okay, no one looks at the sheet. Make it a little hard. No one calls it out, please. Uh, 
I think number it's count A, B, D, and E. A, B, D, E, A, B, D, E, A, B, D, E, A, B, D, E, A, B, D, E. Come on, hands, 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 A, B, D, E, A, B, D, E. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we have so many smart people. How about the lady in second row? What do you got? Everyone get 27? You guys are awesome. Okay, but we do some fun things too. If you have your Illinois driver's license, pull it out. If we were from Illinois, look at your driver's license number. And look at the final three digits of your driver's license number. You have three digits, four digits, four more digits. Read me the final three digits, just the last three digits. Go ahead. Is your birthday December 13th? Very cool, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you didn't know there's a code. I hope the superintendent doesn't arrest me for giving out the code. Okay, anyone else? Yes. April 18th. Yes, go ahead, ma'am. Uh, 927, November 17th. Happy birthday in two weeks. Yes. <laughs> what? May 19th. Anyone else? Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Yeah. March 15th. Yes. December 2nd. November 8th. Yes. February 27th, okay, cool. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you how to do this. Now, it wouldn't be much of a trick if you would go home and say, honey, what are the last three digits of your driver's license? And he goes, 112, and you say, honey, your birthday's April 19th. And he said, you learned that at the TED Talk because hopefully you already know your spouse's birthday. And if you don't know your spouse's birthday, learn it, it's more important than what I'm gonna teach you now. Okay, so say we use uh, that last, uh, we'll use someone's birthday, uh, May 19th. I can teach you the reverse. And I, if, you, if you don't have pencil and paper and want to email me, I'll send you the steps. Here are the, or you email Julie. Uh, step number one, st take the number of the person's birthday month. So the person's born in May, you take five. So step number one is the person's month number. Step two, take the person's month number and subtract one. Five minus one is four. Month minus one. Then you take this new number, multiply it by 31. Four times 31 is 124. Month number, minus one, times by 31. Next, you add the day number. The person's born on the 19th, you add 19. 124 plus 19 is 143. Month, minus one, times by 31, plus the day. Males are done here. Females, take this number, whatever it is, and add 600 to, to it. That's the female's number. Month, minus one, times by 31, plus the day. Females add 600, males stop right here. Okay, <laughs> now one more thing. Okay, so basically, like I said, I try to, try to make everything fun, cool. If you have any doubts what these kids are doing, go on brainetics.com, look at the videos and watch what these kids could do, or just Google me. It's amazing. Kids could do so many crazy, impossible things. And so what I want to do is one more fun thing, just, just for the heck of it. If, again, if you need the stuff for this, just, just drop me an email. This is the greatest test to follow directions we do. I know I'm running out of time. Um, anyone that has a kid, I know you guys all know your kid's birthday, but anyone has a kid that they not only know their birthday, but they actually remember the day of the week their child was born? Yep. Can you raise your hand? Anyone raise your hand? Oh, wow. Can you tell me your child's birthday plus the year? Do not tell me the day of the week. The year, the birthday plus the year. Uh, November 22nd, 2013. November 22nd, 2013. That was a Friday. I promise you it was a Friday. Okay. <laughs> the Friday is the week before Thanksgiving. Anyone else? Yes. <laughs> what? June 12th, 1976. June 12th, 1976 was a Saturday. Yes, yay. Okay, now... <laughs> Now, the reason why this is, yeah, go ahead. November 4th, 2000, that was a Saturday also. Yes, <laughs> okay. Now, the reason why I teach this to kids, and I teach this not only to kids, I teach this to adults. I taught this at Princeton, I taught this at Stanford, I taught this at Northwestern, is Julie could give you the sheet. It's six steps, it takes one minute to do, but I found about, about a third of the people cannot follow steps for one minute straight. During that one minute, people lose focus. They'll stare at the ceiling and say, gosh, who do I got to email? Who do I got to text? What's for dinner? And then they'll do the work. And people, when they're not focused, they make careless mistakes. And when you make careless mistakes, and I tell this to kids all the time, it doesn't matter if you get one or two wrong when you're, or three wrong when you're in grade school or middle school, but by the time you get to college, you have so many people that are just as smart as you. The kid that makes four, five, six 
careless mistakes on the SAT, ACT, if he's as smart as another kid, will go to this college, and someone else will go to this college who's just as smart. They'll get this job, the other kid will make this, get this job. So I tell people, if you do this, if you want to test yourself and see if you get this right, if you make a mistake, it's not a big deal, but drop me an email, I'll send you a bunch of things that could help you with your focus. Okay, guys, I know I went over my time. You guys are a rock star audience. Thank you guys very much. <laughs>